Now let's continue. As I have told you, in case of tetrahedral structure, all the four corners will will not be along the axis, but all the four corners will be in between the axis. Now therefore, as the corners will be in between the axis, you see here when the ligands, when the four ligands will approach the central metal, then they will not approach along the axis rather they will come in between the axis right so therefore in case of octa in case of tetrahedral field when the ligands approach from these direction from uh, the direction which is in between the axis then we find here that only those orbitals those orbital having electron density in between these two axes so in between the axis they will suffer more uh, sorry uh, those having the electron density which is in between along along the axis along the axis will not suffer much repulsion but those having in between the axis who are having in between the axis here we have the x y the y z and the z these are the orbitals which are having electron density in between the axis Therefore, these are going to suffer more repulsion as compared to the other set of orbital that is x square minus y square and dz square where electron density is along the axis, fine. So here the situation is a little bit, here uh, it is reverse. The previous two cases are same, three metal ion. Here out of uh, six, not six but four ligands will approach in this case, less number of ligands in tetrahedral. Fine. So again uh, the direct directions are not very clear for, for the matter. So it will feel a uniform repulsion from all the directions. So there is energy increase for all the five. They are still degenerate but with some higher energy. Right? Now when the picture is clear we will see these three will suffer more repulsion. So these three will be higher in energy and other two will be less in energy as compared to the ground state. Right? So you compare the ground state, all the five have higher energy, but out of those five, these three especially will have more repulsion felt, that is why their energy will be more as compared to these two. Right? So this is a very very important situation. Here, entirely reverse as compared to octahedral field. So these set of orbitals here it is called T2 and this set is E. E set, right? And the difference is delta T. Here I have not used the spectrochemical symbol uh, G because the tetrahedral uh, structure do not have center of symmetry. So I have already told you structures having center of symmetry, for them G will be used, for tetrahedral G will not be used, fine? So in this case, this difference from uh, Berry center is 2 by 5 delta T and uh, this difference is 3 by 5 delta T. Fine. So this is very very important. This diagram is to be drawn with uh, much care. Sometime the question in exam is asked for octahedral field and student represent tetrahedral field splitting. So the care should be taken. So the basic concept should be very very clear that uh, some d orbitals have electron density in between the axis, some have along the axis. So from which direction ligands are approaching, we have to take care and accordingly we explain the splitting, right? So this is crystal field splitting. After that, we will discuss here the very, very important topic that is what are the factors which influence delta. Delta I have already told you, the difference between the two set of orbitals, splitted orbitals. So, next topic we have that is factors affecting crystal field splitting energy that is delta. In case of octahedral we write delta O, in case of tetrahedral we write delta T. Okay. So, here we have the first factor here. First factor is the oxidation state of matter. Fine. Suppose all other factors are same, but oxidation state of metal is different. For example, complex of Fe2 and complex of Fe3. Suppose uh, in both the cases the ligand is water, 
here also, here also ligand is what? And in both the cases coordination number is 6. That means I have kept all other factors constant. Number of ligand is constant, nature of ligand is constant, central metal is same but the oxidation state is different, right? So what happens when the oxidation state is different? Then in case of a higher oxidation state, when the oxidation state is higher, in that case, when this is metal, ligand will be more close towards the metal, more close towards the metal and more the ligand close to metal, more, this is point to be understand, more the ligand close to the metal, more will be the repulsion between the negative field of the ligand and the d electron density of the metal, right? So, Though there is attraction, attraction is due to plus charge of metal and negative charge of the ligand. But when they come very close, then the repulsion between the ligand negative field and D electron density will be more. So as a result, in this case, there will be more repulsion I am talking about as, as a result, the gap between EG set of orbital and T2G set of orbital, that means delta is high. So, more higher the oxidation state, higher is delta. This is the first factor. Second, nature, we have nature of metal ion. Nature of metal ion here is metal ion belonging to first transition series, that is 3D series. Metal belonging to 4D series, metal belonging to 5D series, right? Suppose here it is metal M1 belonging to suppose the 3D series or transition elements, M2 belongs to 4D and M3 belongs to 5D. All are in the same oxidation state, say plus 2, plus 2 and plus 2. All are combining with the, the condition is same, same ligand. And in all case, suppose coordination number is 6 or coordination number is 4, but it should be same. But the only factor different is matter belonging to different transition series. So, what is the point to be considered here? If it belongs to 3D series, then this is suppose, this is my way of explaining, this is suppose a 3D orbital having electron density here. Around matter there will be 3D orbitals, fine. Then in second case, it will be having 4D. 4D will have a higher, larger size than 3D, more electron density distribution and this will be 5D. Fine? So in all cases, suppose they are combining with the same ligands, then you see very important negative field of the ligand is much closer in case of 5D. This is a small, small, it is compact, more attracted by the metal. So this electron density will be less repelled by the ligand. So in this case, your delta will be small. So as we go down the series towards 5D, delta goes on increasing. Crystal field splitting goes on increasing, fine. So this is, the, these are the two factors which are related to the metal. Oxidation state of metal and second we have the nature of matter. Third point is nature of geometry or simply uh, geometry of the complex. So we have two type of geometry ML6 and uh, uh, ML4 coordination number. I have talked only about octahedral and tetrahedral. Right? So in these two cases very simple to understand. Here are six ligands to repel and here are only four ligands to repel. So obviously you will say that means a bigger country is a bigger enemy, small country is a small enemy, right? So six ligand will have more repulsion, therefore crystal field splitting energy will be higher in this case and it will be less in case of tetrahedral, fine? And we have observed this value is there that 